Hi everybody, nope, wrong way. Hi everybody, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to my savings, budgeting, and YouTube journey. I am here to represent the hardworking, low-income single parents. On this channel, I experiment with different budgeting styles, savings goals, and I share the strategies I learn as I go. So if that sounds interesting at all to you, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to follow my journey. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much for everybody who has liked and subscribed. We did reach 4,000 subscribers. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I mean, honestly, I didn't even know where this was going to go. My quality of videos is still like visually, they suck, but I'm glad that you guys hung in there and eventually we will get new equipment. So I recorded this video at first already and all you could see was nostrils. So... <laughs> So I am recording it again, but um, I'm still looking up. I don't know, but my name is Tia. Most people call me T or TT, and that's just happens organically. I have no idea why people started calling me that. Maybe Tia is too hard to say, but I do prefer uh, T or TT. I just wanted to come on here again and say thank you so much for everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented, and anybody who's just watched the video. I don't care if you never say anything to me, but I appreciate um, you watching the videos and I hope you guys are getting something from it. I am definitely very happy that I decided to do the YouTube thing, but I was just scared to do it. So if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. I was worried about like having like a good quality in the camera and thankfully you guys stick in there with me because I know my quality is not the best. I'm doing what I can with what I got. So so thank you so much and I just wanted to give you guys a few updates before we get into the May budget. So a first update I want to give you is that I opened an Ally account. So no I didn't. No I didn't. I opened a SoFi account. <laughs> I opened a SoFi account and I did have some money transferred in. So right now my plan is to keep my daughter's savings and my car note in that bank account. So we'll see how that goes. I am going to go ahead and set up direct deposit just for those two things. I already have $50 that usually goes into her account and $25 that goes into the checking account for the car note. So those two will be in SoFi. I am also going to open an Ally account just because I want to try it. Um, I'm still torn between the two. Those are the top two that I wanted to choose from. So I'm going to try both and then I'll come back and I'll let you guys know, you know, which one I like better, which one's working better. Um, and I am going to keep a brick and mortar bank. Like I, I feel like you need to keep a bank where you are. I mean, just for emergencies, just period. I think you should have one. That's just my suggestion. Honestly, it's just going to be my buffer account for those. As of right now, that's the plan. Is it just to leave my brick and mortar bank? I need to make an online purchase and I need to put the money back in cash. I mean, I might go fully cashless one day. I I don't know because right now cash stuffing seems to be the what's working for me, at least for the categories that I do have. Also, Netflix. We got rid of Netflix last month. Right now, we're trying a Hulu trial. I mean, I guess I should tell you a little bit about me. My name, again, is T. <laughs> I am super nervous right now, but I am from New York State. I have one daughter. We call, I call her Pooh. I've called her Pooh for the longest time, and I just didn't realize until a few years in that it sounds like the other kind of Pooh. But it's not. It's just a term of endearment. I've called her that for years. So, yeah, she is 14 years old. She is a freshman in high school. So we are saving up for all these high school expenses that are coming up. So that's one thing you'll see me saving for in her binder is all the expenses that are going to come up every year. Freshman year wasn't too bad, but I know when we get up to junior and senior year, things are going to get more expensive and graduation. So I am buckling down basically and just trying to save little by little for her. I mean, we're going to do the best that we can. It is what it is. I am an administrative assistant. It was so hard for me to say that in the first video. <laughs> I'm an admin assistant and what was so cool is last week um, was admin assistance day actually and my boss got me a little gift bag with cute little stuff and the, some scented thing that smells so good. I guess it's one of those things that you put in your drawers. Oh my god, I love her. She's the best. Like I don't know how many people can say that about their boss but I love my boss. She's always very appreciative of everything that I do and she makes it known. So love that for me. <laughs> There's nothing really exciting about me. I mean, if you guys have any questions, you can ask. I mean, as long as they're not like 
super personal but just wanted to come on here and give you guys a few updates oh another update i almost forgot to tell you is that i financed something and i hate doing this like i hate to do the um, you know paying for kind of things i guess that's what they're called I haven't done it in a while. Um, I was doing it with Timu for a while and that was literally just because I've heard bad things about your credit card getting like scammed or something. So I was going through a third party with the pay and for. Anyway, long story short, I opened up an account with a firm. So Amazon had this treadmill that I wanted so bad and it went on this great sale like it was even cheaper than when i was thinking about buying it so i did go ahead and purchase it i'm waiting for it to come i can't wait it comes on thursday it's one of those walking pads that you can use when you're um working which i probably won't do because i know i have one of those desks that you know go up and down and that's not in the budget right now so i'm just going to use it as it is whenever i can as much as i can we did i finally convinced some people to do a biggest loser challenge with me so there's three other ladies that we're gonna do it we're gonna start on may 1st and we're gonna go all the way to june july august august 1st i think it was august 1st so that's perfect that's right around my birthday my goal is to lose 15 pounds they all have their own goals but we're gonna check in with each other every week and we're gonna put in a pot just a few dollars maybe 10 20 dollars to you know give to the winner at the end of it it's really all just to kind of encourage each other to lose weight it's just an incentive to make you try to lose weight but um and you'll have the support of each other basically just accountability partners which is what i need because this weekend i ate terribly honestly i gained two pounds <laughs> and it it sucks because i've been fasting i've been doing intermittent fasting i have these mornings where i'm like starving i'm hungry and i don't eat because i'm fasting <laughs> but and then but then when it gets time for the weekend i ate terribly we had a movie night on friday and i was eating candy all weekend after that like i just blew it and that's one thing that i have to stop doing like just because you you know failed or got knocked off the wagon it does not mean quit and give up so that's one thing that i am working on my personal development about four two anyway <laughs> anyway that is something that i'm working on so i'm gonna go ahead and do the may budget with you guys give you guys all the updates if there are any and i also want to go over my may goals for the month so we already know for april even though april's not done yet april ends for me on april 7th so i still have time to lose these two <laughs> lose these two pounds um but we'll see how that goes why did i say may 7th may 7th listen listen welcome to me <laughs> you're gonna get what you get when it comes to me and it is what it is so but that's it for me here we're gonna go ahead and head over to my desk and i'm gonna show you guys the may budget i already said all that so let's go ahead and do it <laughs> what is that Ooh, brother, what is that? Okay, so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get into our May monthly budget projection. So it's just a projection slash uh, estimate because we don't know for sure how much the paychecks will be in May because sometimes I do overtime. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. First thing that I need to do is to plug in the bills that I do for that month. So this will be the second month we're doing our we're doing our monthly budget in here. So I did go ahead and already write, write our goals for the month. I want to make $200 on YouTube. That has been my goal for the last few months and we're not always making it. Uh, the next one is to organize my high yield savings accounts and other accounts. So this kind of piggybacks off of April's goals so though for this month that i'm in now i'm supposed to have my high yield savings accounts opened up and ready to go by the end of may i want to make sure that i have all my direct deposits set up so let me specify that plus you get extra bonuses if you have direct deposits set up so i'm gonna have direct deposits set up for ally and for sofi you can see here these bills that go all the way to the seventh those are within april's budget for me for me my paychecks basically rule my month so the last the last day of the paycheck is the seventh because i get paid on the eighth so may goes from may 8th 
all the way to let's see the first paycheck is the eighth second paycheck is the 22nd and my first paycheck of june is the fifth so all the way to june 4th that's the month of may for me of course all right so we're gonna plug in our fixed expenses it's the first thing that we're gonna do may mortgage has already been paid so we're gonna have to pay june mortgage let me just put that here and I don't put in an amount because we're gonna do those in two separate transactions. So we do half here for the mortgage. So we do half of the mortgage here, and then we do the other half here. We do allowance, which is $20. Let me write this in here. every pay period and then our variable expenses are down here now so that's all i want to worry about for those pay periods amazon is due on the 12th maybe i should use purple yeah amazon is due on the 12th for eight dollars And I'm color coding this. This is something that I learned for, from the budget mom. The, just so that I know which paychecks are paying which. Half a mortgage, four forty-five. dollars Just do that there. And allowance, $20. Okay. Streaming service. Um, for now, we're going to just put a question mark because I don't know which one I'm going to go with utilities is due on the 14th and i actually i need to go find out how much my actual utilities will be because i did get that bill the month of may so what we do is i pay half because i've already paid 60 dollars towards it with this paycheck so that's 105 so we need to split up 105 so we're probably going to pay more than that actually for utilities so this the balance is 105 dollars because i paid 60 dollars with the pay check that i'm in now so the balance will be 105 dollars now i'm just going to pay that all i'll just pay that all phone bill due on the 15th for 60 dollars no changes there student loan on the 19th and i just round that rounded that to 32 so student loan is actually about 26 dollars, but i usually pay 30 dollars. it's not much more but that's what i'm paying on average discover is 35 dollar minimum i always try to pay more than a minimum but that's what we're going to put in for now and then we've got the next paycheck we're going to put the extra utility payment here of let's see $62 okay car insurance is due on June 2nd so this is why the color coding is important so I remember what paychecks gonna pay what and then we have internet on the third it was $57 this pay period, this month for May. So I really don't know what they're doing, but I'm going to keep $77 aside just in case because I don't want that popping up at me for no reason. And I almost forgot a firm is due on the 29th right here. Uh, and that firm is for $16. I don't know if I've said that already, but what I did was I just added that $16 payment for the 29th and took it off the extra utilities because again, that's extra utilities. Um, yeah, so we're going to take that $16. That way we keep it at $7.30 for, per pay period. All right, so those are all the bills for the month, but I also, for the month of June, because this goes all the way until June 4th, I know that the water bill is going to be due here. I think it's due on the first of the month. So that $60 we're going to get from um, 
the sinking fund. Oh, now let's go ahead and add uh, add this up. Let's see how much the fixed expenses will be for uh, the month starting on the eighth. All right, that brings us to fourteen thirty-five. Now, I estimated that the bills for the month are usually fourteen sixty, so that leaves us with a, a little bit more money. So, I'm actually gonna use um, put the one twenty-two for utilities instead. So, for the utilities, for instead of one hundred five, I'm gonna play one twenty-two just so that I can keep trying to get ahead. And that's to try to get ahead of when the winter time comes up again next year. Honestly, seriously, we still had the heat on until this weekend because it gets so cold at night. Stressing me out because I'm really sick of paying this utility bill. And this is low, really, kind of. I don't know. I guess I shouldn't complain because I know there's people who have larger bills than that. 1452. Okay, so it totals to 1452 for the month. I'm just gonna write that here so I don't forget it again. That gives us what eight extra dollars? Eight extra dollars to make it to 1460. This is just another way for me to pay off and chip away at debt. So I'm gonna put that eight dollars to discover. So we're gonna pay forty-three dollars to discover instead. All right. There we go. So that'll get us to the 1460. And again, this is because I already have this money allocated to uh, bills and it goes into the separate bill account. So we're just gonna make it 1460 so that um, we can keep paying off some extra debt. All right, so now that we have that settled, let's go ahead and do our May monthly projection and these are all just estimates and plans because we don't know how we don't know for sure how much the paychecks will be but I'm going to estimate that paycheck a and that's going to be paid on the 8th I'm going to estimate that that's going to be 1450 and paycheck B I'm estimating that that's going to be 1500 when is that on the 22nd? It's on the 22nd. 522. Okay, those are the pay dates. So total we have 1950, 2950. 2950 for the month. All right, so let's let's hope this all works out. All right, so we're gonna start here with the 2950. First thing that comes out, we already know based on our cheat sheet here. 300 a month goes into automatic savings. All right, so we're gonna take that off the top. Brings us to 26.50. Next thing that comes out, we know are the fixed expenses and we've already determined that that's gonna be our normal 14.60 for fixed expenses slash bills. Oops. That leaves us with 11.90. It's just depressing. <laughs> Next thing that comes out is, so we don't have to worry about that water bill because we have the water um, sinking fund. So I have money saved already for water. Let me put my important notes up here because I always forget. So we got to pay the water bill. And I don't even know if that's going to be $60 for sure. I haven't gotten the bill yet, but it's usually about $60. So I'm going to keep that to the side. I actually should have did this first. Next thing is we have the, um, the road trip this month. That's going to be the 24th through the 26th. It's just me and my daughter. We're going to go on a road trip. I'm trying to just let us have some experiences because just because I don't make a lot of money doesn't mean we should not be enjoying life. And this only comes around one time. You only live once. And I'm surprised you still want to hang out with me. But yeah, so we're looking forward to that. The next thing that comes out are my variable expenses. So for the month, grocery, gas, and home total, we're gonna take 590 out.
is 600. Okay, the next thing is $400 for the cash envelopes. So those are the ones that I take out in cash and I keep in my wallet in separate categories. Uh, that leaves us with $200. So, and then we have our priority savings challenges and sinking funds. So that amounts to 150, I already know off the top. So this is our priority sinking fund and saving challenges. All right, that leaves us with $50. So that $50, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that for family fund, family fund sinking fund. And, you know, that just means that I can't contribute to more savings challenges like I usually would or sinking funds. But that's okay. That's a priority for me. And plus, we can use it for that trip or I can use it for another Discover payment since we charged that trip on Discover. So I'll, I will give you guys when we do the either the first or the second paycheck, whenever the D Discover bill is due, I will give you guys an update. I'm waiting for that to post. So... Once it does, I'll give you a, an estimate or an update on how much debt we now have because <laughs> we did charge Discover. We don't usually use a credit card, but for this purchase, I just did. I wanted to make sure I got the room that we wanted because it's Memorial Day weekend, so it's going to be busy. So anyway, and I did get 10% off thanks to SoFi. So if you're planning anything, make sure you check and look at SoFi if you have a SoFi account. If you don't, check my link down in the description box so you can open up one of those high yield savings accounts. I wish I would have done this a long time ago, honestly. All right, so that's it for the May monthly projection. We have the estimates for the pay dates, estimate for the month. We have everything that we need to pay written down. We've got our calendar all ready to go for the month of May. So we will, I'll go ahead and transfer that information over to this monthly budget. I don't like to write in here because I would be erasing the whole time. Plus I have to split everything in, down into categories. So I like to break it, my budget down into categories. If you have not seen that, uh, make sure you take a look. I have a list here. This was inspired by the budget mom. She has um, things that you can print out on her website where you can write down the categories that you choose and um, you can um, determine what kinds of bills or spending will go in that. I don't have a health category because there was only room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was only room for seven categories so I kind of had to break some things down. I have it in parentheses because I I don't know why I do honestly I forgot <laughs> but that is it for me today my main personal goals basically it's just for me to lose weight and do, to do my other financial goals so that's pretty much it for me today I thank you so much again for always watching I want you to always remember it is about progression and not about perfection thanks for watching and happy saving bye <laughs>